Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the powerful set methods in Python. We'll discuss each and every concept and method. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned Pythonist, there's something valuable for everyone. So don't click away just yet. And let's get started. So what exactly is a set? Well, a set is an unordered collection of unique elements. It is unordered, unchangeable, and unindexed. Sets are unordered and unindexed, that means you cannot be sure in which order the items will appear, their indexes always keep changing randomly. Set items are unchangeable, but you can remove items and add new items. And the most important part, set do not allow duplicate values. Let's start with the basics. Here's how you can create a set in Python. We use curly brackets for creating a set. Simple, right? Now let's explore some of the methods we can use with sets. The first method we'll cover is the add method. My set dot add. Let's say six. Now let's check the results. Print my set. So it has simply added the value six to the set. With the add method, we can easily add elements to our set. Next up, we have the remove method. The remove method allows us to remove specific elements from our set. My set dot remove. Let's say I want to remove three. Let's check the results. Print my set. So it successfully removed the value three from our set. Another useful method is the clear method. This method clears the set. My set dot clear. Print my set. As you can see, the clear method removes all elements from the set, leaving us with an empty set. Now let's talk about the union method, which is a very useful method in sets. The union method combines elements from two sets, excluding any duplicates. Here I have two sets, set 1 and set 2. Let's apply the union method. Union set equals set 1 dot union of set 2. Print union set. Let's check the results. As you can see the union method combines these two sets and removes the duplicate value which is 3. Another useful method is difference method. The difference method returns a set that contains the difference between two sets. That means the return set contains items that exist only in the first set and not in both sets. Here I have two sets, fruits and veggies. Fruit set contains all the fruit's name, but a vegetable name also. And veggie set contains all the vegetable's name. Let's apply the difference method on them. Diff equals fruits dot difference from veggies. Print diff. Let's run this. Here you can see it returns a set that contains the difference between these two sets. In this case, potato occurs in both sets, so it returns the items that exist only in the fruit set. As a shortcut, you can use the hyphen operator instead. So instead of using the difference method, we can use the hyphen operator. It will do the same thing. Another similar method is difference update method. The difference update method removes the items that exist in both sets. The difference update method is different from the difference method. Because the difference method returns a new set, without the unwanted items, and the difference update method removes the unwanted items from the original set. Here I will use the same two sets. Fruits dot difference update. From veggies. Print fruits. Let's run this. Here you can see the difference update method removed the unwanted items from the original set. As a shortcut, you can use the minus equals operator instead. Instead of writing this long method, just use minus equals operator. It will also do the same thing. Next most useful method is intersection method. The intersection method returns a set that contains the items that exist in both sets. I will use the same previous sets. Let's apply the intersection method on them. Result equals fruits dot intersection from veggies. Let's check the result. Print. Result. Here you can see it returns a set containing potato. 
The intersection method returns a set that contains the similarity between two or more sets. As a shortcut, you can use the AND operator instead. So instead of writing this, we can simply use the AND operator. It will also do the same thing. Next most useful method is, symmetric difference method. The symmetric difference method returns a set that contains all items from both sets, except items that are present in both sets. I will use the same sets. Let's apply the method symmetric difference on them. Result equals fruits dot symmetric difference from veggies. Let's check the result. Print result. Let's run this. As you can see it returns a set that contains all items from both sets, but not the items that are present in both sets. As a shortcut, you can use the exponentiation operator. Instead of writing this, we can simply use exponentiation operator. It will also do the same thing. Next most useful method is, is subset method. The method is subset returns true if all items in set 1 are present in set 2. Here I have these two sets, both sets contain some alphabets. Let's apply the is subset method on them and check if all the elements of set 1 are present in set 2. Result equals set 1 is subset of set 2. Let's check the result. Print result. Let's run this. So it returns true because all the elements of set 1 are present in set 2. As a shortcut, you can use less than equals operator. Instead of writing this, we can use less than equals operator. It will also do the same thing. Next and the last method is, discard method. The discard method removes the specified item from the set. This method is different from the remove method, because the remove method will raise an error if the specified item does not exist, and the discard method will not. Let's say I want to remove the name of John. So I can write, names, dot, discard. John. Let's check the results. Print. Names. Let's run this. As you can see it removed the name John from the name set. But what if I want to remove a name which does not exist in this set? Let's say Tom. So it doesn't affect your program. But if you use the remove method instead of discard, then it will raise an error. So if you want to avoid errors, you can simply use discard method. And that's a wrap on set methods in Python. Remember to leverage sets as your go-to tool for efficiently managing collections of unique elements. With their versatility and simplicity, sets empower you to streamline your code and tackle complex data structures with ease. So go ahead, embrace the power of sets in your Python projects, and unlock a world of possibilities. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such tutorials. Thanks for watching.